meantime, the American Legion getting its hands on a new VA memo, which reveals scheduling problems that date back years. So in April of 2010, the Deputy Secretary for Health for Operations and Management, this is what was written. It has come to my attention, in order to improve scores on assorted access measures, certain facilities have adopted use of inappropriate scheduling practice, sometimes referred to as gaming strategies. Well, he calls for immediate action to eliminate it. This was 2010, folks. Jesse Jane Duff is a retired gunnery sergeant with the U.S. Marine Corps and is now with Concerned Veterans for America. Jesse, I can only imagine how angry you are about this because I'm I am so angry about this. We're talking about four years ago that they were talking about gaming strategies. And you say... I'm looking at that memo and I thought to myself, you've got to be kidding me. They said it will not be tolerated. Obviously, these executives just decided, well, we're just going to get sneakier. We're going to hide it. We're going to camouflage it. The VA was well aware of this. And even during Eric Shinseki's testimony, it was revealed that they were trying to eradicate it. They're aware of this corruption. Yet in 2012, every single executive got a satisfactory rating, performance rating, except one. So you realize that you're a culture of corruption and you've been giving out bonuses and rewarding these executives time and time again. It's outrageous. I want to read another part of that memo from April 26, 2010. Here's an example. As a way to combat missed opportunity rates, some medical centers cancel appointments for patients not checked in 10 or 15 minutes prior to their scheduled appointment time. Are you serious, Jesse? So, so if you came to the VA hospital and you didn't check in 10 to 15, it's like you're getting on a flight. You didn't right. check in 10 to 15 minutes before your appointment. They Door canceled shut. you? Door shut and you're locked out. 1.5 million appointment records were deleted by the Veterans Administration. This is by the Government Accountability Office. They did that survey. And 1.5 million records. We don't even know what happened to those veterans. We don't even know if they exist. <laughs> so I'm appalled that we don't even give them the care and they show up and they're eradicated from the system like that. i got to bring your attention to one other thing that's just crossed right now. Uh, Senator John Cornyn is calling mm -hmm. on President Obama to withdraw his nominee for that position of Robert Petzl. Remember, he resigned oh, yeah. last Friday, <laughs> even though he was already going to retire. Uh, so yes. apparently the new nominee, Jeffrey Murawski, he apparently uh, was in charge of the woman, Sharon Hellman, <laughs> who was in charge of the Phoenix VA, which is where this whole thing started. So now right. John Cornyn is saying, this guy, we need a fresh approach. We don't want somebody who's already been in the system. What do you say to that? I, it's like, what is the president thinking? Is he throwing gasoline on the fire here? You're going to nominate somebody that's coming from the very facility that has made everybody mad as hell? I think they're just mad as hell that they have been caught. That's what it boils down to. Why would you nominate somebody that's coming from a place that has a systemic history of eradicating appointments, having secret lists, and 40 dead veterans? This doesn't even, it's like bizarro world over here. It doesn't even make any logical sense. Well, we are going to continue to cover this, and I know that you are as well. Jesse Jane, thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. So